Carter. And good evening, everyone. The current group of Alabama A&M baseball players are experiencing something new as they prepare for the 2021 SWAC tourney. Our newest member of the WZDX Sports team, Jonah Carp, catching up with head coach Elliot Jones to discuss how important participating in this year's tourney is to the program. The first goal of a new coach is typically to create a winning culture and hope that the team buys in. When Alabama A&M head baseball coach Elliot Jones was hired in the fall of 2020, he inherited a program that hadn't been to the SWAC tournament since 2017. Well, I want people to understand that we, we got here, myself and the staff got here in November, and we, we the first thing was about being able to change the mindset and the culture of the guys here, and I, I feel like we've done a really good job of, of maintaining the program and the guys that we that are here in the program, that, that they are working hard every day and getting better um, with the opportunities that present themselves. And that mentality shift has yielded tangible results for Coach Jones's squad. In his first year at the helm, Jones is bringing the Bulldogs back to the conference tourney, an opportunity of which the magnitude is not lost on him. Um, this group of guys, not one guy has ever played in the conference tournament. So I keep stressing to them this week that it's going to be different. Um, a lot of energy, a lot of emotions, um, because at the end of the day, it's a championship at state. And the venue for the event just adds to the hype. Toyota Fields, home of the new professional baseball team, Rocket City Trash Pandas. I believe it adds, adds the excitement to, to any program um, because at the end of the day, you don't play in a, in a double-A park um, as Toyota Field every day. The, the, that, that's a state of the art. Like I said, that's one of the best facilities in the country in double-A. And so it, that, that's, that alone is going to bring excitement um, to the universities that have yet to seen it in person. Um, they're, they're up for a really gift. The three-seed Bulldogs face two-seed Grambling State on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Putting the Valley first, Jonah Cart, WZDX Sports. Thanks, Jonah. Grambling A&M will actually kick off the entire SWAC tournament on Wednesday morning. We'll have highlights on Wednesday evening right here on WZDX.